Yeah, it seems like an eternity ago they wait for the old game. Um, nearly another giant killing in the Challenge Cup for us after last year, so... Um, yeah, it's for like a long time, but me and the family, you know, we're doing well. My wife's able to be working from home. Uh, kids have been doing a little bit of schoolwork in the first few weeks, but I find it a bit boring now, but... You know, we're, we're plodding along, I'm managing to get out a little bit with the windy cleaning business, so, you know, things are somewhat carrying on as normal, but we can only do what we're being told as of now. Uh, yeah, I'm still managing to get out a little bit. Um, I sent a text out to all my customers just saying that I will be back out working due to me being able to stick to social distancing guidelines, so sent the text out, obviously I know some people might find it uncomfortable with being or having someone around the property but you know I've, I've had a, a very positive response from everyone um, in terms of letting me get out and go see them again so some things are back to normal but I'd certainly be back training on the night and playing on a weekend though. Uh, yeah, as I say, the kids have been doing some a bit of school work. Um, I did do a little bit of it myself. Obviously, I worked in schools before, but not in uh, a teaching aspect. But you know, it's, I think everybody's found uh, a newfound respect for teachers even more now, and what they have to go through. You know, a class of thirty odd students to, you know, teaching one, two, three, or four of your own kids at home have found it challenging. So, yeah, they've been doing some stuff to be fair to them, and. Um, I like to say much, much respect to all the teachers in the schools. Uh, we've had a few stuff to be fair. Uh, Adam, the strength and conditioning coach from the Bulls, he's been sending us out some uh, individual and team training programs. So obviously we're able to, to stay active at home when we're going out for his exercises, and uh, you know Adam's give us some home gym programs to do, just some stuff around the house you can do to keep fit and keep yourself ticking over until it all blows over. Um, you know, we've uh, a few a few of the lads have also bought bikes. You know, I've been posting about bikes for a few weeks. I'm trying to get all the one for my rather large backside. Um, so yeah, it's just about ticking over for now. We're just trying to keep ourselves as fit as we possibly can. So if there is a return date for us to come back, then you know we're already halfway there and uh, good conditioning. Yeah, we're, we're in constant uh, contact with each other, you know, we have the players WhatsApp group, uh, still plenty of banter being thrown around in there. Also, Matt Dunn and John Keir, they've set up um, a bit of a Zoom app for us all to have a little bit of a, a weekly quiz night together, so, you know, we're not missing each other too much. Um, now, obviously, that is the uh, the main side, That's it's a bit bad right now, we, you're not able to go about his normal routine, go out of training every Tuesday, Thursday night and Saturday morning and play together on a Sunday so try to keep ourselves in contact with each other as much as we can and keep the banter flowing and it's, it, it's working out well for us all to be fair. Yeah, we're coming to a, a good bit of form, you know, we think that there were a lot of turnover at the club last year and we've got a young lads coming through this year so you know, there were going to be a little bit of time to job, but I think, to be fair, it's been a good start to the season. Um, you know, we're facing two favourites to be going up and contending for promotion this year in uh, Featherston and um, London. So, you know, we uh, we pushed them a fair, a fair bit. You know, we were disappointed with them losses, which is a good sign, you know. Uh, we, could, we have to say, as I say, we have a young side, so we could have just brushed it off and said, oh, you know, we'll carry on as normal after this, but we were genuinely disappointed with those losses. Um, and you know, we've we've still got some goals to set out for this year. When we can go back and go back to normal again, we don't know. But you know, we've come on some good uh, good results there. Alderman, you know, the Sheffield game in particular, where defensively we're unbreakable. And then also, as I mentioned earlier, the near giant killing of Wakefield in the Challenge Cup. So things are looking well, but. You know, once we get back training again and feeling it all again and getting back in condition, ready to play, if we get to do that, then, you know, that'll be even better. Yeah, massively, massively itching to get back playing, you know, I, I've, I never thought I'd miss waking up on a Monday morning and aching, but, you know, I actually do miss, miss feeling that. Um, you know, we're, we're all rugby people, we're all sports people, we love the sport. 
so we're all feeling it a little bit. Obviously we want to get back as soon as we can, but we only can do what we're being told at the minute to stay safe and you know, wait for this all to blow over and do our part and help in doing that. So, you know, I'd love to get back playing, love to hit back the roar of the crowd in the breath of fans running out on the field with all the lads again, you know, I can't wait till that day happens again, but as I say, we can only do what we're being told for now, so hopefully we're all staying safe and looking after each other and keeping in contact with each other and, you know, we'll, this will soon pass over and we'll be at it again. Cheers.